Yeah, so in uh, autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis, uh, therapies that uh, deplete B cells are thought to be uh, an effective way to treat the disease. And so CAR T cells can be another uh, effective way to try to deplete B cells. And that's the, the idea of um, using a CAR T cell therapy as a one-time treatment to deeply deplete B cells, and hopefully that will lead to a clinical improvement for patients with MS. So there are several ongoing studies by uh, a variety of uh, different partners looking at uh, various CAR T cell therapies in multiple sclerosis. Uh, these largely include CD19 targeting autologous CAR T cells. Um, and these trials are now um, ongoing globally, including uh, in the U.S. and um, in many other countries as well. So in uh, CAR T-cell therapy and MS, we are hoping that the safety profile of CAR T-cell therapy um, will have less toxicity in MS. And that is primarily with the idea that in cancers, we have a lot of cancer cells around to stimulate the CAR T-cells and drive expansion. In autoimmune diseases like MS, the expectation is that the number of uh, cells that are around for the CAR T cells to be uh, activated by and to kill is going to be much lower. And so hopefully the safety profile will um, look uh, different and, and hopefully lower grade uh, toxicities. So there's still a lot of work to be done to prove that CAR T cell therapies will be an effective treatment in diseases like MS. But I think what's really exciting about them is that they offer a one-time treatment and if they are uh, effective, then patients may have a long period of time where they're off any kind of immune suppressing therapy or off any recurring treatment um, and, and hopefully have long um, disease control. And so that's really, I think, the exciting part of uh, exploring and investigating CAR T cell therapy in MS.